What's going on, friends? If you are riding a Twin Cam 96 or you're even considering a Twin Cam 96, you are really in a very unique position that nobody else with a Twin Cam really has because the 96 is actually a very modern motorcycle and it really doesn't take much to really give it a good boost to put it up there with some of the more modern bikes as far as your horsepower and torque. The Twin Cam 96, everybody looks at like, well, it's a 96, it's underpowered, it's an older bike, but I think what a lot of people forget is that Harley Davidson's are really a forever bike. They're not really a throwaway motorcycle. So even with a Twin Cam 96, it does not take much to really put some power into that bike and get you up to the horsepower and torque numbers that we're seeing today. And I really mean that even with the Twin Cam 103 and the Twin Cam 103 HO. Because even the guys that have a 103 that is a non-HO, they're still looking for more power. And this is the secret where if you have a 96, you can really benefit. And I'm going to get into that a little later in the video. But guys, don't forget, if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that like button, that tells the YouTube algorithm that you enjoyed the content, and this helps us get this content out to other Harley riders that are looking to upgrade their bikes. So if you do have an absolute bone stock 96, congratulations, those are hard to find. But I, whether you want to, if that works against you or if that's in your favor, that's really up to you. But in my opinion, a bone stock 96 is very hard to find today that doesn't at least have something done to it. But in 100% stock trim, the bone stock 96, you're going to be making about roughly just right at or below 70 horsepower and about 83 foot pounds of torque. Now, the bone stock 96, they use the 484 lift Harley Davidson cam, which this was, this has been Harley's go to factory cam. They had this 484 lift cam on the 88, on the 96, and the 103. Now, when they went to the HO, they went to the 511 lift, which that was a huge boost in power. But we're going to get into this a little bit here a little later. If you have a 96 or even a 103, a little bit of cam swap, that can put you right up there at or definitely well above what the Harley-Davidson upgrade of the 511 cam did. Now, chances are, if you're riding a 96 today, whether you've owned it or you've bought it used, it's already got the stage one. It's probably already had a tune. It's probably already got some exhaust or probably even an air cleaner on it. Now, this is a big benefit for the 96, which the 96 really does produce decent torque, but the horsepower, eh, it's all right. Now, Twin Cam 96 has the same 4.375 inch stroke as the 103. So you have the same stroke as the 103. The only difference is the bore. Really just different cylinders, but you had the same cam. Now this is where this really works to your benefit. Having the same cam in there, you can put some bore into it, go ahead and upgrade it to a 103, or you know what? You could bore your cylinders or you could buy new cylinders and go out to a 107. Now there's a lot of different ways to do this and depending on your situation, this can be very cost effective to you, whichever direction you intend to go. Now with a 96, a good set of slip-ons, high flow air cleaner, and a tune, we're looking at about 72 horsepower and roughly about 87 foot-pounds of torque. So not bad at all, because in Harley-Davidson, it's all about torque. Now if you go ahead on a 96 and you want to go to a 2 into one exhaust, this, I, I know, 2-in-1 exhaust is kind of, a lot of people don't like the sound of the 2-in-1 on a Harley, but 2-in-1 really makes the power. So if you're not going to go any further with a 96, I would highly recommend doing a 2-in-1 exhaust on it with a tuned high flow air cleaner. With a 2-in-1 exhaust, we're looking at about, roughly, you're going to get about 80 horsepower and about 94 foot-pounds of torque. Still nowhere where we really want to be. We really want to be at roughly 100 horsepower or above, and we want our torque to be, well, you know, I would say about 110 foot-pounds. That's just me. That's what feels good to me on a twin cam Harley. So when it comes to a 96, we really have a lot of options depending on your situation. So if you've already bought a cam for your 96, you've already invested that money in the 96. So 
we really don't want to spend any more than we have to if you've already put, say, 350 bucks into a cam, and hopefully you've done it yourself and saved that labor cost. But either way, this is going to benefit you in the long run. So generally with a camshaft in a 96, standard compression stock heads, we're usually getting about 90 to 95 horsepower and a little over 100 foot-pounds of torque. Not bad, very respectable. So if you're the guy with the cam, we have a couple of options. The cam makes the power. That's non-negotiable right there. You have to have a good cam. Yes, you could go to a big bore with higher compression and well, the stock cam, they really don't like the higher compression. So big bore, it's really gonna put you at the specs of a basic 103, which isn't completely impressive. But anyhow, you've already got the cam. So what we want to do is we want to increase the bore and the compression. And there's a couple options for doing this. Now, if you already have a high performance bolt-in cam, your first good option is if your cylinders are in good shape, they look good, they don't need any refinishing, I mean, if that really matters to you. But Hammer Performance has a really good deal where they can bore your 96 cylinders out actually to a 107, and they send them back with 10 and a half to one compression pistons, and this will run you about $650. Now, if you already have the cam and you want to bolt this on, this is a really good deal for you. And they'll also even gap your rings and pre-install them in the pistons for an extra 50 bucks. So $700, you get a 107 bore. That's not bad at all. And with 10 and a half to one compression and a good pipe combined with your cam, just to give you a general idea where you're going to be landing. Now, just for example here, we have a... 107 with 10 and a half to one compression and we're looking at a wood TW555 stock heads two into one two pipe on a touring bike we're looking at 101 horsepower and 117 foot pounds of torque now that same setup with a two into one 107 10 and a half to one compression a wood 777 cam we're looking at 107 horsepower and 119 foot pounds of torque now guys, that's not too bad at all. Now, I'm not trying to plug for wood cams here or anything, but wood cams really make the power. I know they're a little bit noisy because they're ramp angle and they nose off pretty quick, but wood cams make that extra little bump in horsepower that most riders are looking for. Now, option two, I know seven, $800 can be very expensive, and then if you're having to pay the labor for that, that can get pretty costly. So let's say you've got your 96 and you have already got a cam in it or you're looking to buy a cam. You've got another option there that's going to save you a little bit of money. The other option is you all go to bike nights. You all search Facebook Marketplace, all these different areas. There are a ton of 103 cylinders out there. Now, if you can find somebody that has a 103 and they've converted it to a 110, and they've got the cylinders, they're low mileage, decent shape, what have you. You know, you can pick them up for next to nothing. Maybe you have to hone them a little bit, but definitely run a bore gauge in them. Make sure they're still within decent spec. Make sure they're in good shape. Go ahead and pick you up a set of 10 and a half to one compression pistons in there. Throw you in a can for 350 bucks. And guys, this really all comes around to if you're just doing it yourself in your garage. Now, if you're paying labor, the cost goes up and you'd probably be better off just going ahead and buying a kit. But if you can find somebody's used 103 cylinders, they're going to slide right onto your 96. No problem. Put a little compression in it with a 10 and a half to one and a wood cam because wood really under advertises their cams, even their bolt in cams. Let's kind of take a look at what you can get out of that with a wood cam, 103 cylinders on your 96 with just a little added compression at 10 to one. So it's still very mild, very street friendly. So a 103 with 10 and a half to one compression using a wood TW56 cam. Then now this is a major torque cam. It's a good bolt-in cam. You're looking at 107 horsepower and 117 foot-pounds of torque. Now, if you've been riding a 96 with just basically a set of slip-ons and a tuner on it, and then you go to the, somebody's used 103 cylinders that are honed, got a little 10 out to one compression, that new cam in it, this is gonna be a whole new bike to you. And don't get me wrong, Twin cams feel really good, well over, 100, well over 100 horsepower and closer to that 120 foot-pounds of torque mark. That is a whole lot cheaper than going out and buying a new bike, especially today. 
even if you're looking at upgrading to a used 103, we're still looking at less than $2,000 to wake up and renew your 96 and make this a good screaming motorcycle for you. Now, let's say on the flip side of this, another scenario that you have nothing. You have a bone stock bike, just basically your stage one. I've got the air cleaner, the tune, and the exhaust, but I haven't put a cam in the bike yet. You can really go to Fuel Moto and pay about a thousand bucks. Their kits are about a thousand dollars. You get a, a new set of cleaned up board cylinders out to a 107. They do want your old cylinders, or else it's about a $300 charge. So for a thousand bucks with a cylinder board, the cams, and a good cleaned up board set of cylinders, that's, that's really hard to beat there. That setup is still going to put you in that 110 horsepower, 120 foot pound of torque range. Now, from Fuel Moto, if you want to go with a complete full kit that's going to have the pistons, the cylinders, new hydraulic lifters, the adjustable push rods, the camshaft, everything that you're going to need, that's going to run you about 1400 bucks. Yeah, you know, you're probably still going to have to buy a set of gaskets and everything. And I do believe they might include some of the gaskets in there. But $1,400, that's like a couple months worth of payments on even a newer used 103. So if you got a 96, don't give up on it and discredit it. But anyhow, guys, if you got a Twin Cam 96, I really hope this gave you a little bit of encouragement to really invest in your bike a little bit. As I mentioned, you don't need to go out and spend a metric butt ton of money to get a new motorcycle, to get some of that more modern power. And if you've owned the 96 for a while, it could be getting to where it's feeling a little sluggish and this and that, and people are passing you on their 103s and their Milwaukee 8s. But this is a great way to wake it up. And it doesn't have to be super expensive. It just really depends on your situation and how much that you've already invested into your engine. Now, if you got the air cleaner, the exhaust, and the tune already, Man, you're already in business. The only thing you need is to come up with a set of 103 cylinders, high compression pistons, or there's a couple other options out there to go another direction, whether you want to bore them or just go ahead and buy a new set. Either way, they're all great options, but as I mentioned, it just really depends on your situation and what works best for you. But anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to drop a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. But anyhow, guys, until next week, Please stay warm out there riding, dodge those cars, stay safe on the streets, and I'll catch you guys back here next week with a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Huh.